Okay, we are back in part three of standard intensity drive belt replacement. And I've got the drive belt on. That's what happened in the last video. And I've got to get this deck belt back on, which you have to lower the deck in order to make clearance to take these side parts off. Which you have to loosen the wing nuts on. And then we can see that the belt's not on anymore. The belt's just kind of hanging here. Get there, yeah. We've got to get the uh, right into here. There's an extension, see, to, uh, to get some leverage on there with the uh, breaker bar, and then hopefully slide that onto the pulley. So I just took that other half off, and you can see it's. it's we got to get around this pulley right here. Get on this side. Make sure it's under the on correctly under the pulley underneath the uh, engine and then we can start to get our breaker bar in there. This should look familiar from the last video. Let's see, as you can see, make sure that this belt looks good around the, the pumps, springs on. All right, this, we need to make certain that this is around the pulley and not off of it before we begin the process of putting it back on. Actually, I think I need this shorter extension. That other extension is too long. The exhaust pipe gets in the way and there's no moving it. The exhaust pipe right down here. See, it's about the same height as that extension down there. So I'm going to take that extension out and use this shorter one. And once you get this thing in, now this is the easy one. This is easy, so much easier than the dry belt. See, it moves this, flexes it in. We can work the belt around the, the big pulley here and then drop it in the place just be really really careful with doing that that's all and just need the you know that breaker bar and that'll that'll give you the leverage you need to get it done as you can see i've got most of the way on and then when you pull it a little bit more you can just work that belt with your finger across the rest of the pulley okay now it's in place you see everything's set so I'm going to start this thing up. I'm going to leave the belt covers off, but never do that. You're never supposed to operate without the belt covers. I need to be able to see, make sure the clearance is right on the drive belt and that things don't bind. Sometimes this is tricky to get out, as you can see. There we go. Let's again check this out. And actually, I'm going to leave these the spring compression tool and everything and the old nut and bolt. Uh, everything in my toolbox because I'm probably going to need this in the field at some point. At least I know how to change the belt now. It's very complicated, but uh, maybe it's a lot easier now that I've done it once. This thing is completely shot. I'm not even going to keep this as a backup. It's it's not like you can't use that. It's going to break off at any moment, even as a backup. Here's the old belt. This is shot too. I'm not, even, I'm not keeping this as a backup either. I'll leave it here. And there's the, there's a shield. Actually, I want to get this thing started first without the shield. Make sure that everything runs. Let's take a look up at underneath here. Take a look at what we see. It looks good to me. Let's make sure everything's tight. <clears throat> it's wrapped around where it needs to be. Okay, so here's the final view. Hopefully I've done everything right. There's the, the bottom belt is the uh, the blade belt. The top belt is the drive belt. New size belt, new size parts in there. Hopefully there's clearance for this thing. This idler pulley to spin. There's not a lot there. There's not a lot of clearance, but it do, there does appear to be clearance, which it needs. And it's around, around the, the uh, pulleys. The pump pulleys, both of them. Yeah. There's the part number for your reference. New parts that's, that's started up. Actually, I gotta get the new battery in first. Okay, the battery is now in, fresh battery. And I gotta find a key because this hasn't been started so long. This has been like over a year, maybe a year and a half, almost two years it hasn't been started. So hopefully, it starts. Just got the key from the other mower. Hopefully this works. Hope nothing starts to fly off or scrape either. 
I'm gonna choke. hear any noises from underneath there. Very quiet. It was so loud before. Oh my gosh. Good, looking good, very quiet. Wow, this thing is dirty. It's got mold all over it from the moisture that was left on it. I really need to take a blower to this thing and blow it all off. Let's take a look one more time underneath here. It ran out of gas. All right, I think I had this thing backwards. It's supposed to be like that, I guess. Let's try it again. I can't remember, it's been so long on this. Uh oh. No. Oh, wait, I gotta stay on here. No, nope. no power. That's not good. Okay, I just, I just had this break off, that's why. Try it again. Okay, everything seems to, seems to work and work well, with the exception of, I think I still need to replace these spindles uh, and this belt. I think this belt is worn, but uh, I'll try it now without replacing the belt and hopefully it'll work well. Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, comment if you've done this repair before too, if you have any tips that I have not given.